we talk about machine learning and neural networks, we can't avoid the comparison with the human brain. Researchers in Australia said, yeah, let's compare them. And so they grew a human brain and trained it to play Pong. Of course, they did not grow a complete brain, but a group of human brain cells in a petri dish. They called it Dish Brain. Brad Kagan from Cortical Labs in Australia confirmed in an interview to have developed these mini brains, made up of 800,000 to 1 million live human brain cells. These are what our chips look like. So in here there's approximately a million, million cells sitting on a little chip in here. The cells are arranged on top of a microelectrode array, which measures brain activity. He actually called them cyborg brains. The researchers constructed a basic version of Pong with no opponent to teach the mini brains the game. To indicate where the ball is, a signal is delivered to either the right or the left of the array, and the neurons in the brain cells send signals back to move the pedal. Kagan compares the mini brains to a real life version of The Matrix. In the movie, Humans are trapped in a simulated reality with their brains being plugged into a computer. The mini brains are literally plugged into a computer and they think they are the pedal within the game. I wonder what their worlds feel like when they are under the microscope. They don't see unless they are connected to the simulation. So yeah, that's the matrix. But how do the mini brains perform compared to an artificial neural network? It appears that the mini brains actually learn faster than some AIs. In their experiments, Dish Brain learned the game in 10 to 15 rallies, while machine learning took 5,000 rallies to learn the game. Here is a quote from the published report. Using this Dish Brain system, we have demonstrated that a single layer of in vitro cortical neurons can self-organize and display intelligent and sentient behavior when embodied in a simulated game world. From a scientific point of view, this research is amazing and opens up new possibilities for creating artificial intelligence. But from an ethical point of view, we are literally growing human brains, plugging them into a simulated reality and harnessing their computational power. We are literally creating the matrix. Oh, by the way, did you know that Elon Musk is building a smartphone that connects wirelessly to your brain? This is only a rumor so far, but if you want to learn more about this allegedly planned Tesla phone, click here. I summoned up what people believe to know so far.